Have you ever wondered, can you extract your own DNA? And if you could, what would it look like? Today, I'm going to teach you how to do exactly that with my experiment, Human DNA. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Calandrelli, MIT engineer and host of Emily's Wonder Lab. And on my channel, we learn about all things space and science. So grab some salt water, because we're about to gargle up some DNA. Today, we are extracting our own DNA. But before we do anything, I want you to put your isopropyl alcohol at 70% concentration or higher into the freezer and let it cool for at least an hour, ideally overnight. What you need for this one is two cups of water, one tablespoon of salt, a couple drops of dish soap, and a cup. And finally, you need another cup that we will be extracting our DNA in. The first thing we need to do is get the DNA out of our body. And we are going to do that by extracting cheek cells with gargling salt water. So let's go ahead and make our salt water. You just need two cups of water and one tablespoon of salt. Make sure that is completely dissolved. Now you wanna take a quarter cup of the salt water. Oops. And now we are going to try to gargle as much of this as you can. It might not be the full fourth cup, that's okay. But to prepare your mouth, you can try to like bite the sides of your cheek and just like swish your mouth around a little bit. You're trying to get as much of those cheek cells off your cheek as possible. So we are going to swish this around and gargle it a little bit for 30 seconds. You ready? Here we go. Now what you wanna do is add a couple drops of soap to your spit solution. So what we did was we extracted a bunch of cheek cells into our spit solution, and now the soap is breaking open those cells, allowing the DNA to escape. And the salt in our solution is allowing that DNA to clump together. But we can't see our DNA yet. That's what the next step is for. So swirl that around, make sure that's good and mixed. Now what we're going to do is add a half cup of rubbing alcohol to our spit solution. Okay, the best way to add this rubbing alcohol is to tilt your cup to the side, and just kind of pour it along the wall. The alcohol is going to rise to the top of our spit solution because the alcohol is less dense. And here's what's happening. This is why we did this. DNA can dissolve in your spit solution, but you know what it can't dissolve in? alcohol. So at the layer of spit and alcohol, that DNA is going to precipitate. It is going to jump out of the spit solution. And after about three minutes, we should see a little bit of stringy substances in our alcohol. I see it in the solution. You can see it forming. Oh, this is so cool. Now look at this layer of alcohol and spit solution. You see those little white towers there? That's the DNA precipitating out of my spit solution into the alcohol. If you've waited three minutes and you still don't really see anything yet, just be patient and wait a few more minutes. This is so temperature dependent. And if you just took your alcohol out of the freezer, it'll work faster. But if it's warmed up a little bit, it might take 10, 15 minutes for these to show up. So you just really wanna be patient here. And if you've ever done the DNA strawberry extraction experiment, you know you can really scoop up a big clump of DNA with that one. But humans have about a quarter of the DNA per cell than a strawberry. So we're just going to overall have less DNA in our glass. But if you hold up your glass to the light and look at it, you'll be able to see the flowing strands of DNA in your liquid. That is DNA. And the cool thing about this is that if I were to take out that DNA and place it a thousand miles away, and then a scientist could find that DNA and know precisely that it came from me. Because that DNA is the blueprint, the recipe, the instructions for Emily Calandrelli. And if the scientist found that, they would know it came from me. Thanks for extracting human DNA with me. If you like this one, be sure to check out my best-selling Stay Curious and Keep Exploring books for 99 
more science experiments. I'm Emily Calandrelli. Subscribe for all things science and space. And remember, stay curious and keep exploring. I'll see you next time. Emily's Science Lab.